Do you know XRP going to reach 500 US dollars? How is it possible? Keep watching this video to find out more so that you don't miss out on an excellent opportunity to win a giveaway of 120 XRP tokens at the end of this month. Hey guys, welcome back to Whiteboard Crypto Update, the best spot for your daily dose of everything XRP in cryptocurrency. In today's video, we will talk about XRP's future, so be sure to stay focused as you surely don't want to miss out on this. If you are new to the channel, be sure to subscribe to the channel and turn on post notifications by hitting the bell so you never miss any of our uploads and also enter our giveaway. Please remember this is not a financial advice video. CEO Binance said Ripple XRP will cost $500 overnight. US Representative Brad Sherman recently advised the Securities and Exchange Commission SEC to go after crypto exchanges that supported Ripple's XRP token. However, in a recent interaction with Fox Business journalist, Alina Tourette Sherman made another claim against the token. Lawyer John Dean, the founder of Crypto Law, and the representative of the owners of XRP in court, makes a bold prediction about what may happen after the briefings on the summary judgment are made public. He stated when the motions for summary judgment are made public, we will see evidence that we currently do not know about including testimony from Ripple CEO Brad Garlinghouse, co-founder Chris Larson, Ripple CTO David Schwartz, and former Ripple employee. Hinman and other SEC officials, Amy Starr, Valerie S. He also added, I predict that we will see also why it was so important that XRP holders were heard. When the summary judgment motions are public we will see evidence we are currently unaware of including testimony from at B. Garling House at Chris Larson S.F. at Joel Katz and former at Ripple employee. It includes testimony from Hinman and other SEC officials i.e. Amy Starr, Valerie S. etc. Johnny Dion 212 Kelvin followers beware imposters at John Dion 1 August 20, 2022. According to the latest updated schedule shared by James K. Phelan, the remaining months of 2022 may be a key moment in the trial based on upcoming decisions and petitions to be filed. It is expected that petitions for a summary judgment will be received by September 13th. Objections are expected by October 18th and responses to any objections must be given by November 15th. Before Judge Torres makes a final decision, Phelan predicts that Judge Torres' decision on expert petitions in a summary judgment may be made by March 31, 2023. Lawyer John Dean accuses SEC Gary Ginsler of gross abuse of authority in his war with cryptocurrency. John Dion, the founder of Crypto Law, criticized the excessive reach of the SEC in an article published on Fox Business. According to Deaton, Gary Ginsler, chairman of the Securities and Exchange Commission aggressively sought to expand the agency's powers beyond what is permitted by law. Highly recommended reading one at John Deaton and one's article succinctly articulates. The harm SEC chair at Gary Ginsler continues to do perpetuate towards crypto. The SEC harms investors and creates disorderly markets by not providing regulatory clarity. HTTPS's colon slash slash tco vera one tjjob Moonchaser at Moonchaser 2020 August 21, 2022. He cited how with the exception of congressional action, the Commodity Futures Trading Commission CFT, the main regulator of investments that are not considered traditional securities has primary responsibility for regulating digital assets. This may mean that the SEC has limited jurisdiction over the cryptocurrency industry. In 1946, the Supreme Court issued its famous Howey Criteria ruling, which laid out a four-part test to determine what qualifies as an investment contract. Deaton continued by stating that after Howey Congress was unable to pass any new legislation that would directly regulate cryptocurrencies, this should mean that Congress intends to make the CFTC the de facto regulator of the cryptocurrency industry. He alleges that Gary Ginsler, chairman of the U.S. Securities and Exchange Commission used this perceived lack of clarity to launch a campaign of regulation by enforcement that pushed Howey to the limit. In December 2020, the Ripple case was initiated by Jay Clayton on the last day of his tenure as chairman of the SEC. The Securities and Exchange Commission has filed charges against Ripple executives for allegedly selling XRP in a way that could qualify as a Hoy security. Since the proceeds, according to the Securities and Exchange Commission, were partially used to support the growth of Ripple's business. As a result, they were required to disclose information about these sales to investors as a public business would do. John Dion previously noted on Twitter that XRP is by far the most important altcoin in the cryptocurrency market. As a result of the SEC actions against him, 
He pointed out that if Ripple Labs loses the case, it could be dangerous for all other cryptocurrencies as the SEC could mark them as unregistered securities. The recession and the threat of a long and painful recovery have brought down us financial markets, securities and exchange commission. SEC Chairman Gary Ginsler could do something about it, but he doesn't seem to be paying attention to anything, let alone taking care of something. Instead it doubles down on the distortions that in turn have distorted the market opaque and consistent and arbitrary policies. Gensler Securities and Exchange Commission requires complex confusing information about how financial assets affect the weather, develops discriminatory rules without procedure and participation, and applies regulation not by law, but arbitrarily rejects constitutional checks and balances resenting congressional oversight that bears to question the SEC new orthodoxy on environmental protection society and governance ESG. He uses the SEC war on cryptocurrency claiming that every digital asset is probably a security. The SEC has not developed a clear policy regarding cryptocurrencies. Congress has not given instructions to do this and the commissioners have never voted for this position. But Jessler nevertheless urges startups to come and talk to us about registration. The agency's Freedom of Information Act FOYA office has flippantly rejected investors, good faith requests for clarity and information. Ginsler neglects Congress and the judiciary. SEC lawyers refuse to comply with court orders to provide evidence of the views of SEC leaders that are relevant to the SEC case against Ripple Labs. Justice of the Peace Sarah Netburn repeatedly ordered to provide documents from the infamous speech of William Hinman, the former head of the U.S. Securities and Exchange Commission. Her July opinion and order criticized the agency for hypocrisy and behavior that suggests that the SEC is taking its judicial positions to achieve a desired goal and not out of loyalty to the law. The SEC regulation by coercion model has destroyed the hope of us leadership in financial innovation in cryptocurrency and opportunities for new investors. The SEC two-year lawsuit against Ripple has scared innovators and discredited the agency in the eyes of consumers and investors whom it is legally supposed to protect. The increasingly overwhelming arguments of the Securities and Exchange Commission regarding the Ripple XRP digital asset have gone beyond even the broad discretion allowed by the Securities Act of 1933 or the 1946 House Supreme Court decision. The SEC subsequent measures confirm Gensler's antipathy to tokens, which contradicts legal precedent and technological neutrality in the SEC v. Library case. The agency entered into a case with a blockchain developer from New Hampshire. Gensler's lawyers stated in fact that if a person buys a token on secondary markets for speculative purposes, then each of these tokens is an investment contract in a company that the other holders may have never heard of. The rest is not important. The current price of XRP for today you can see yourself on the screens, and the trading volume for 24 hours is 1,294,436,065 US dollars. We are updating our XRP price in US dollars in real time. XRP has dropped 408% in the last 24 hours. Do you think XRP will be able to win the court and restore its former price? Well, guys, that's all we have for you today. What are your thoughts on XRP? Get involved and let us know in the comments down below. If you guys like this video, then be sure to give this video a big thumbs up. Also, if you don't want to miss out on any new future videos then be sure to click on the subscribe button and turn on the notification under this video so that you're notified the next time we upload a video on the latest XRP and cryptocurrency news. Until the next video comes out, you can watch our other videos about XRP or other cryptocurrencies. Thank you for watching, and we will see you again in the next video goodbye.